In this uh, YouTube video, I'm uh, going to be using ViewScan version 9 x64 on a Windows PC. And what I'm trying to determine is the ideal crop buffer percentage and crop border percentage settings for scanning printed photos that do and do not have borders on the printed photo from the outset. Uh, I'm also trying to, to determine the ideal color balance and other suggested settings for use with ICC IT8 target scanner color profiles to lock in the color balance. And I'm also trying to uh, determine if the ICC IT8 target profile has been baked into my file. So what I intend doing is using this AGFA SnapScan E50 flatbed scanner to scan a printed photo with a white border and the same printed photo with no border. This scanner has a black um, underside to the lid. So now I will start off with my print with the border. I take the ruler to line up the print. Okay, that's fairly straight. So now I'm actually using the exact version is ViewScan version 9 for x64 Windows computer, specifically version 9.6.29 with the AGFA SnapScan E50 A4 flatbed scanner. So now I'll just start up the scanner. So what I'll do firstly, uh, I understand there's two major workflows that you can use uh, ViewScan for. One of them is a raw linear workflow and the other is to have the workflow where the color balance and things like that is baked into the file. Let's call that a JPEG workflow for the purposes of this video. So this video will be concentrating on a JPEG workflow. So I've set the options to professional. Task is scan to file. Mode is flatbed, media is color, media size is maximum. Got 48 bit RGB selected. out of these options. Scan resolution, I will make 1200 DPI, which is the maximum for this flatbed scanner. Auto rotate is off, auto flip off, rotation none, auto skew is unticked. Sk 
skew zero mirror is unticked. Auto save is selected for scan. The options are scan, none, or preview. Auto print is none. Lock image color is off. Now, in the crop section, I will come back to this section after I preview the scan. Restore colors is unticked. Restore fading is unticked. Grain reduction is none out of those options, those four options. Sharpen is unticked, de-screen is unticked, flatten is unticked. Color. I've got color balance as none. However, uh, having read the ViewScan Bible and also the Hamrick ViewScan Guide, I understand that the color balance, the default color balance for view scan is white balance and in the view scan bible bible the recommended color balance to stay as true to the original image as possible is neutral so white balance is the default for view scan neutral is recommended by the view scan bible to maintain colors as close to the original as possible. However, there's another option here, none, which I'm not sure. I, I would have thought that none would be even better to maintain colors uh, closer to the original. But the options are none, manual, neutral, tungsten, fluorescent, night, auto levels, white balance, landscape, and portrait. So I've set it to neutral. Actually, at the moment, I'll just have a look. I'll reset it to default. So now I've got color balance neutral. It's all been reset to, to the default values. Now the scanner color space I will select that as an ICC profile. I've already created an ICC profile. I'll come back in part two of the video to show you the profile I've created.